Sometimes people tell me I need to be more enthusiastic in my videos. So one day I decided to ask a friend, how do I be more enthusiastic in my videos? He told me I just have to act like I have a million subscribers. After extensive research, I've found out that acting like you have a million subscribers just basically means screaming into your microphone and almost breaking it. So, uh, let's go. Hello everybody, this is Gasfire here! Welcome back to CodeCraft, and today we're gonna be building a Shrek Swamp game, so let's get right into it! Boom, boom, annoying dubstep music that's used in most stereotypical Minecraft players' intros. Boom, yeah, mmm. Hello everybody, this is Gasfire here, welcome back to CodeCraft. Last episode, I was working on my Shrek Swamp game, and likewise this episode I will continue doing so, except I'm gonna build Shrek's house. So let's get started with that. I'm not gonna lie, I have literally no idea what to talk about in this time lapse. Time lapse voiceovers are boring because most of the time I just end up like asking for you to leave suggestions in the comments. So I wish there was like some really good topic to talk about, like Harambe or something. Oh yeah, speaking of which, if you didn't already know, the one year anniversary of Harambe's death is about to come up. It's on May 28th, it will be a very sad day. It marks a year of bad Harambe memes, so um, that's cool. Speaking of gorillas, I 100% believe that toasters are Illuminati confirmed. Yeah, that was literally the worst transition ever. Anyways, toasters are just tanning beds for toast, right? And we eat toast. Humans eat toast. Do you know what else eats food? Gorillas. Yeah, that's still a really bad transition. But moving on, gorillas are a part of the primate family, just like monkeys. And what do we know about monkeys? They have eyes. If you can't see it yet, let me spell it out for you. Monkeys have two eyes. Blobfishes have two eyes. Two minus two is zero. Gorillas and monkeys and blobfishes have one common trait. They are animals. That's one. One trait. Add that one trait to the zero from before, and we get one. One is the number of eyes an Illuminati has. It's, it's Illuminati confirmed, 100%. Confirmed. It's confirmed. It's confirmed. It's confirmed. It's confirmed. It's 100% confirmed. I can't yell because I voice crack, but it's still confirmed. Right, so now that Shrek's house is done, for the exterior part at least, I think I'm going to start working on the interior. So I made this little area of the chest with Shrek's onion will be right here. And then I think there should be some walls, maybe, like, there should be a wall, like, right over here. Yeah, that's pretty good, so I can have, like, some wooden walls around the place, just kind of filling in the gaps to make it look kind of house-like, I guess. Hmm, why is there a gap there? Um, so... Yeah, and then on the floor I'm gonna have, like, maybe coarse dirt might work. And let's check out the light levels. I'm gonna have to make the light levels kind of better. So that, you know, mobs don't spawn and stuff. Yeah, so I'm gonna do some more of that decoration. So I finished decorating Shrek's house and it looks pretty good. I added some slabs and stuff. There's the floor, which also looks good, the chest in which I will put Shrek's onion right in the middle. But now I'm going to step back a little bit in that direction and build a hedge maze for um, an obstacle. So it's going to be like a maze of hedges and there's not really much else to say. I'm going to start building it now. Alright, so... The maze is going to be a relatively small one, but it's a decent size, I guess. Yeah, that's that's big enough. So the exit for the maze is going to be like right about here. And um, I'll just cut a hole in the maze now. So yeah, like right over here. So that is the shape of the maze. It's a pretty basic maze, but it's still gonna be a good maze. So let's continue on that. What do you call a maze that is very pointy? An edge maze, because get it? Like hedge maze, but it's pointy because it's an edge. It's an edge maze. <laughs> 
Sounds edgy. Yeah, I already know. My puns are amazing, so you should just... Yeah. Okay, that's done. So now if I go and make my graphics fast, then that should actually be a pretty confusing maze. I'm also gonna light it up some so that, like, mobs don't spawn in it, you know? So that's all I have time for today, so thank you for watching, everybody. In the next episode, I'm gonna finish off the Shrek Swamp game. Goodbye!